Hey, good morning everyone. It is 6.45 in the morning on Thursday. I am excited to say that it is finally time for us to start collecting solar data. It's time to nip this huge solar problem in the bud, paint a picture of what's going on, why it's happening, so we can get on top of it. So, let's get going. Alright, so the sun's right there. My solar panels are right there. In the summer, the sun doesn't hit the panels for quite a while. It's kind of different. So, that's an issue that I didn't really expect, as I thought that in summer it would kind of get the same sun as the winter. Just maybe more of it, right? It's not the case. I designed the system in winter so the angle is slightly off. Uh, for the summer, okay, but for the winter, it's perfect. I don't have a sun tracker, so if you look at the panel, not one ray is reflecting off of the sun, which is over there right now. So, 7 in the morning in the summer, 0 volts being produced by the PV system. Okay, I lied. We have 43 watts coming into the system. We are currently using 187 watts. 8 a.m. Solar input is 210. House draw 154 watts. 9 o'clock. Solar inputs 411. Draw from the house is fluctuating from 218 to 235 watts. 10 after 10. I'm getting 600 plus. 615 the solar input house draw is currently 208 11 a.m. we have 694 watts on the solar input 354 watts on the house draw 12 noon we're at 722 watts solar input to the system 366 watts draw to the house. It's 1 p.m. We're looking at 700 watts solar input. 343 watts for the draw in the house. 2 p.m. We're looking at 747 watts on the solar input. And we're looking at 419 watt draw on the house. Three PM we're now at about six hundred and eighty five watts solar input. Looking at four hundred and twelve watts on the draw side coming from the house. Four PM six hundred watts of solar power. House draws at 364 watts. 5 p.m., 500 watts of solar input. Seems logical. 410, 12 watts of draw on the house. 415. 6 p.m. 109 watts solar input. The house has 416 watts of draw. Well, Mother Nature's throwing my numbers a bit. It is 6.15 p.m. This blinking red light and that chime you're hearing is emergency low battery. Hooray! I've overdrawn my battery system. The sun hasn't even gone down. The clouds that have moved in have caused uh, me to overdraw the system. It's drawn nothing you can see. Well, it's time to start up the generator. 
at 6.15 before the sun even goes down. Ooh, that's annoying. Well, that test is over. I feel like I was back in chemistry, just running tests, taking numbers and logs and stuff. I'm going to put up at the end of this video a picture and graphs with all my data. You know, pick through it if you want, just to see what's up, but I believe we've come to a conclusion of my solar system is inadequate for the amount of draw that I currently have. If I only get like six hours of viable sunlight in the day, um, and I draw 18 hours of the day, I pretty much need my draw to either be a quarter of what my solar system produces so that it can even out at the end of the 24 hour period, or have my solar system dump in like four times what my draw is, so within those six hours, the same thing can happen. Uh, looks like I'm staring down the barrel of getting more input, for sure. I, I really can't eliminate my draw that much. Like, I could, I could cut myself off completely, okay? Like, I can not watch TV, not have lights on, blah, blah, blah. But my fridge has to say, that's 250 watts automatically. automatically. My fan has to stay on. I don't have an AC. That's 70 watts, right? So I have like 350 watts. Four times that, that's over 1,000 watts of solar. <laughs> so by my own rule and definition, i got to change my system. So I also have currently the generator running. The battery system is only allowing 15 amps in. At 24 volts times 15 amps, that's only 360 watt input to the system, okay? So if I run the generator all night long, I'm only getting 360 watts an hour. It's not very good. I immediately see a problem with my battery bank just getting critically depleted, and that's exactly where we're at right now. You know, the power is not staying in the battery bank. It just straight up gets stolen immediately. You know, like the clouds started coming in probably right after 5 and I didn't notice. And then immediately our draw was more than our input. And it only lasted like, I'm going to say an hour and 15 minutes if I checked it at 5 and it probably immediately rolled in. That's not a long time, just to let you know, for 10 batteries to last. An hour and 15 minutes? Nah. If you go back way in the beginning of my videos, they lasted 30 hours straight with our draw. So, yeah, I believe I have found the issue. Unfortunately, uh, the solution isn't like, oh, sweet, it was this. Click, everything's fixed, right? <laughs> uh, but now I know what to do. So right now, I don't know if you can hear it, but I'm inside the nursery and there's like a 60 mile an hour windstorm outside, just dust in your eyeball kind, right? Wind seems to be the way to go here. Um, in the summer, it's too hot. I would need to quadruple my system, which is 30 more panels, like 30 more 100 watt panels. I need to make three more giant array thingies. I need to figure out how to dig more conduit, more breaker boxes, hide all in. Like, oh no, <laughs> it seems terrible, right? Um. I can see now why, like, on sides of hills, there's, like, just miles and miles of solar panels. It's probably just for, like, one rich guy's house. Um, I think I'm going to do wind. You know, like, dollar per dollar, wind is better. It, it may not be in your area, right, because you might not have, like, constant wind like I do here. So you're like 1,000 watt turbines may only ever produce like 100 watts on a good day, right? But if I get 1,000 watt turbines, we'll probably smoke at 20, uh, 1,200 watts and just start dumping the load to some other circuit like it's supposed to. So um, I'm all about alternate energy, man. Like if I had a creek running through with a waterfall, I'd be building like a giant hydroelectric power plant just to run this stuff here, along with irrigating everything else. But okay, that concludes this day's test. We got the data we needed. It's time to look at it, pick it apart, come up with an intelligent solution so that we can tweak the numbers the way they need to be. In my favor, hopefully. Uh, thanks for hanging through this random video of lots of short clips of numbers, but if you ever, or if you're in this position yourself, 
you'll feel me, because you need to know what's coming and going through your system, especially when you run into problems like we've been having. That's all I have for today. Happy Thursday, everyone. Friday's upon us tomorrow. The weekend approaches. I hope you had a great solar day, great day today. We'll see you tomorrow, huh? My problems will be resolved in the future. I just got to trust in that or I'll go crazy. Have a good evening.